and green numerals. And here's McNabb. Play action. Wants to throw on first down. Dumps it off over the middle. It's picked off. It's Mike Rucker with the interception. Mike Rucker dropping off into coverage. And the first throw by McNabb, who had gone 127 in a row without a pick, intercepted by Carolina. Well, welcome back to Panthers legend. That's the guy. I guess you were showing off those wide receiver skills. Uh, you looked pretty good when you had the ball. That's my, my only interception. I just made sure I just grasped it and didn't let it go. Well, that 03 season was magical. Mike, we were talking about it. Uh, you had 12 sacks that year, I think close to 60 tackles. Uh, you were uh, rewarded not only with a trip to the Super Bowl, but also recognized as a Pro Bowler. Mm -hmm. What did that mean to you just personally? I, I know ultimately you would have liked to have won the Super Bowl, yeah. but to be recognized like that. That was, that was pretty cool because obviously that's a, a goal that you want to have um, when, you're, when you're growing up, especially playing in the National Football League. But more, uh, this, this game did a lot for me because it was a tough loss in the Super Bowl. And this helped me, this trip, because we left from Houston to Hawaii, and that trip really helped me get over uh, that loss uh, that week. And uh, that, 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 was a, that was a tough week, but it, it, was, it was fun. We saw Chris Jenkins in that picture. Uh, that defensive line, one of the most dominant that the NFL had seen. Mm -hmm. You had the good fortune of playing one end. On the other side was a, a guy play, uh, named Julius Peppers. What was it like to play with a guy who, still playing today, uh, and as good as he was, you were, you were a mentor to him as well. Yeah, he, he's a good friend. And, I mean, obviously I was, I think I was in my third year when he became a rookie. And, um, you know, just the trust. And, and even though he was a rookie, I felt like I couldn't let him down as being the older veteran because if he's getting double teamed, that means I might be getting singled and I need to do my job. So if he's going to get doubled, i got to make it count. And I took that personally, and, um, and we, we had some fun years. And, and I always say that I had Reggie White as a mentor. Um, you know, I had Chuck Smith for a year. But, you know, my, one of my first mentors was Kevin Green, hmm. who just got voted into the Hall of Fame this past summer. And um, so to be able to take that knowledge and then to be able to hand it down and give it to him and to see him being, uh, I think he might be in the top ten pretty close in, in, in all-time sack, that brings me a lot of joy uh, to be able to, to pass that knowledge on. And thus, he passed that knowledge on to Charles Johnson. And hopefully we have that lineage, just like some offensive coordinators and coaches have the West Coast offense and, and you know, all these fun and guns. And, and um, we, we, we've got a good history going on. You can watch more exclusive Panthers TV programming on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Check out Facebook, TWC Sports Channel, NCSC.